Hi kids! Welcome back to our art lessons. I'm going to have something real special for you today. Our theme this week is careers. And I don't know if you thought about this, but if you are an artist, you have so many different careers that are open to you. Today I am going to teach you how to make a little cupcake. So, and it's going to be really easy. I have a couple different things that we're going to need. You're going to want some paper, you might want to have some kind of colored paper or you could always color the paper yourself. You're going to need some scissors, you're going to need tape, some glue, and probably a pencil or pen. And then if you always want to add little confetti or, you know, sprinkles, maybe just something that you could make with a little hole puncher. So what you're going to do to start, you're going to take your paper and you're just going to fold it in half and then you're going to cut it to make about a rectangle size. And then from there, you're going to cut that and see how it's almost like half of a rainbow. Again, this is, this is folded. That way we can make it the same on both sides. But yes, once you cut this shape out, what you're going to do is you're going to just take this and you're just going to fold it over itself like that. You've probably all done things like this before. It doesn't have to be perfectly folded, but this is going to give us the little pleats in our little cupcake wrapper. So then you can open it up. See how cool that looks? And then once you have it open, you're going to take the edges and you're going to glue them together. So we're going to take our glue stick and we're going to put glue on both edges. Actually, we're going to put some over here on this side and then we're also going to put some over on this side. It helps if they're both glued instead of just glue on one part of the paper. Okay, so then again we're going to take that, we're going to attach it. Now notice there's a little hole in the bottom. That's a good thing for this project. You're going to see why in a minute. Okay, so you might have to hold that down for a little bit. And you can always use tape as well if you don't have a glue stick. Make sure you put the cap on your glue stick. Okay, now what you're going to want to do is you're going to make a big circle. Not a little one, but a big one. What I did was I actually took a dinner plate and I traced it onto this paper. And then I took some pink paint and I painted it. And you can see how with the paint going over the edges, it's nice to do the color before you cut it out. So once you have that, you're going to go ahead and see I used a pen to trace it, just a regular ballpoint pen. That way it was really easy for me to see those lines of my circle. So when I cut it out, it's very easy. And again, it does not have to be perfect. It's okay if you cut it and it's a little uneven. No big deal. I just recommend doing it nice and big and you will see why right about now. Okay, so you can just discard that. What you're going to do next, we are going to take this and you're just going to crumble it up. Super fun, right? Just crumble up that paper however you want and then you can either put it in through the bottom or if that's kind of difficult, kind of fun, it's a little bit easier to just stick it through the top of our cupcake right here. Now you can you can play around with the shape a lot. You could try to sculpt it a little with your fingers. Uh, you could do other pieces of paper and try to put them in there. A, a nice idea is maybe you even do multiple colors. There's lots of different ideas you could go with with this. Now remember how I said you want the bottom part to be open. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your tape. You're gonna take some of your tape and you are going to Tape some of those edges down from the inside like this. See that? You're just going to go around and you're going to just do that as much as you feel you need for your cupcake. Of course, everyone's is going to be a little different and that's what's so fun about this, right? I'm going to come here. I'm going to attach that there. There's really not a right way or wrong way to do this. If you need more practice too. You could always do several cupcakes. That would be really fun. Okay, once you have that in there the way you feel comfortable, again, you can play around. You can kind of shape that over and over. Uh, if your paper is really thick, it might be a little harder to move around, but you can choose how you want that to be done. Now, I have with me a bunch of different 
paper that I use just with a little hole puncher. You probably have a hole puncher at home and you can either just sprinkle those on there or you could even glue them or even try to tape some if you have like really little pieces of tape. But that would be fun, a fun way to add maybe a little bit of sprinkles on your cupcake. I also have an example that a student of mine did. Uh, she spent about 20 hours on this. She's 10 years old. That's a lot of time. And instead of using paper like we did, she actually used clay. The way she did that was she took a piece of aluminum foil, crumbled it up, and then she put the clay over the top. She did the little ones first. See, she built up to this one. And then we baked it in the oven. The, the kind of clay is called polymer clay. You might want to try that if you have some at home, or you could use air dry clay too. And then we painted it. She painted these first and see, and then she got to this one. And that might be an idea for your cupcake. Maybe do multiple colors. And then we even made a little plate for it. So that's our lesson for today. If you have any pictures that you'd love to share with me, I would love to see them. All you have to do is put them in the comments section on our page. And then you can always ask me questions. You can ask me things you'd like to learn. But just remember, you guys are doing a wonderful job with this. You can practice it over and over. You can teach your friends how to do it. You can make a whole little collection of cupcakes. Maybe one day you'll make cupcakes for a living. Who knows? Again, there's all kinds of things you can do as an artist one day when you grow up. So I hope you guys had fun and I'll see you next time. Bye.